everyone, how are you guys? I am here to show you guys what is on the crafty table today, or I should say the cutting table um, for the Amore Fabric Shop. These are one of my big sellers. Um, for those who are quilters, this is the uh, video for you. You wanna see what is the newest packs um, that are newly cut for I Spy Fabrics. Um, continue watching. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I am Selena at Amore Fabrics and fabrics however you want to say it everyone says it so differently either way i love fabrics and as you can see here i have a big pile of i spy for those who know what i spy or don't know what i spy is um it's pretty much originally came from the book the i spy books where you have children look for certain items well they have actually a lot of quilters have incorporated that into quilting so um, a lot of my quilters like to buy the i spy square packs um usually a hundred pack of I Spy squares, no duplicates. Each square is different. There's no similar square. They're all very different. And what they are, they're four and a half inch by four and a half inch square cuts um, that are a hundred pack. Um, I am not sure what they're going for in the shop. I guess I should have been prepared. Either way, the link down below is to my Etsy shop. You could check it out. I also have it in the matching game as well. Say if you want to play the matching game in the quilt that you're creating, you can get the two squares that match, randomly through, put it in the square in the quilts, and they have to find the matching pieces kind of thing or the matching items. Um, I personally, it all depends on what you guys are looking for. I like the 100 pack that are no duplicates because it gives you a variety of if you're buying more than one pack, just message me just in case so I don't cut the packs that are the same. I want to give you, say if you buy two packs, 100 pack each, um, and you want 200 pieces that don't match, just message me. That's important. I know for quilters kind of thing. But if you're not a quilter, don't worry, because I know a lot of you guys are junk journalers who are followers here. Um, these are great squares for your projects. I'm going to show you what I'm cutting today so you kind of know um, what is going to be in your pack. Um, if you purchase today, um, I should have, I think about, I think 18 packs that are going to be of the same prints that you see or similar. Now, heads up, if you're looking for Disney TV pieces like princesses, Mickey Mouse, Tweety Bird, anything like that, just message me. I typically don't put them in these packs um, because a lot of people may not want TV movie in it. Just message me. I can... Um, customized pack for you if you do want certain characters in it i have oh gosh so many i have peg the cat uh, what was it pet pete the cat they got gosh all kinds of kids tv shows disney movies star wars i have all those um do i have them listed listed in the shop no i used to um i brought it down because sometimes customers are kind of tough and I, it's easier for me to cut a hunter pack random <laughs> than it is to do custom orders. But I'm willing to do that. But I will not put that listing in the shop. Just message me kind of thing. It would be quite easier. All right, so let's dig right in. If you're here to see what prints are going to be in the pack and you're interested, um, this is what's going to be in the packs. Um, I know that these here starting out are not going to be the same. Everything here will be. What you see here, you will be getting kind of thing. But I guess I can get started. And hopefully my Zoom is not going crazy with lighting right now. And if it is, I certainly apologize. Um, it is a Monday here, so <laughs> you may hear some background noises. Um, I know the garbage man's due here soon, but um, I apologize. I have the windows open. It is absolutely beautiful here today. So, all right, so this is what this pack's going to start off with candles. And I'll just go pretty steady here for you guys. You kind of have an idea of signs. What's really cool about these square packs, if you're not going to quilt, is that um, it's so many themes. It's everything from travel to bugs to flowers to um, beach, those kind of things. Like here we got shells and they're four and a half by four and a half. If you're going to quilt, it is so much fun. So, of course, we got Christmas. Of course, see those who know me, I love kitty cats. I had to put cats in the mix. There's going to be a lot of fruit candy and things like that in this pack as well i try my best to get a lot of prints that are tiny prints so then you can get a lot of items like i spy a butterfly yellow butterfly i spy apples i spy a chicken you know it's right there so i try to get a lot in one kind of print so i'm going to move this forward a little bit to give you guys an idea i try to keep these flat as possible because i don't want to iron look at that and that's so cool pigs 
I'm going to try not to get it in the top of your face. I do emojis. I like emojis in an I Spy quilt because it's a, it teaches children about emotions, like I Spy crying. I know a lot of my customers who buy these packs um, do therapy quilts for children. Um, therapy, obviously, to express their emotions, their fears, things like that. Um, these are great squares for that. I only do one, so it just be random. But if you're particular on a certain type of print, like you want sad, you want happy, you want all in one, let me know and I'll make sure I do that. My goal is to make sure your project is perfect. So of course we gotta have mythical you know uh, creatures in there. We got some you know unicorns, got stars, rainbows, got chuck luck. Gotta have our animals guys. Campers are so tough to find. Pretty much if you don't want to watch all the prints and you're watching this video just down below is the direct link if you want to check out what the packs are going a hundred pack is a lot guys and i think it's like 30 something dollars um you cannot beat it of course you got the tiny prints here i like the prints too also that are not crazy colorful because it makes it kind of tough for them to try to find you i mean you want a nice spike quilt to be fun but you also want it challenging as well. So I like that this is a plain print, but there's a lot of things in it. We got scissors, we got thread, we got needles, of course, sewing machine, dog prints, chemistry, which there's a whole lot of stuff going on there. I spy a, child, uh, a girl with red hair, you know, I spy, you know, anyways, get the point guys, right? <laughs> hey, I think it's fun. I know one of my grandsons, um, I think it's Oliver this year, is going to be getting an ice spy quilt. He's the one grandchild who's left who actually likes these kind of things still. <laughs> the kids grow up and they, they don't, you know, care as much. They just want bigger, better things or technology. But I can't, can't stop quilting. So monkeys, of course, I spy a red monkey or a green monkey. We got the chalkboard going on here. Gotta have that. Bunnies. Gotta have bunnies. So pretty much as you guys can see, it's pretty universal print. So it's for boy or girl. Keys are so cool. I know the junk general world loves keys. <laughs> so um, I love the fact that they're all different colors, which makes it kind of a challenge. We got feathers, candy canes. Now for those who are watching, you're not sure why I'm showing you all the prints is because a lot of times those who buy packs, they're random. They kind of want to know what is exactly in a pack. This one's one of my favorites. You guys know I love my books. And what's cool, you got the bookworm. And you can say I spy science book. And there's a science book right there. This is another cool one. Again, like I said, um, tiny prints. Because you can get a whole lot in a tiny print. We got, I think I kind of accidentally... Got him wrong here. Nope, he's right. He's just in the wrong order. There he is. This is my second time doing this video. <laughs> so it's kind of messed up a little bit here. So I apologize. Pigs, that explains it. Yeah, see, I started the video out and it just, everything happened all at once. <laughs> it kind of got kind of messy. So of course we got numbers, different color numbers. And we got children's writing paper with the numbers on it. We got goats, we got cat in a hat, which I usually said don't do TV, but he may not be in the print depending on where the square is cut, but you gotta have that. Dorky bones, apples, which speaking of apples, I need to add this to the pile. There we go. Let's do this because I found more apples. So let me put that in the same order. Gingerbread man and then we got cupcakes so for those who are ordering a pack and want to know what's in it that's why i'm doing this guys this is for those people who want to know uh, what's going to be in their pack this at least the next 13 packs 13 or 15 i'm not sure again feel free to message me if there's certain things you're looking for because I have bins upon bins of ice spice. This is just what I randomly picked and I counted to make sure they're a hunter. It is so hard finding jungle animals. I wish I can find more colorful, but at least we still have the elephant, the giraffe, the tiger, the lion, all those good things. Gotta have sunflowers. 
and like I said look at all these prints guys there's gonna be so many in a pack I'm telling you it's crazy and look at I barely even made it <laughs> this pack is gonna be packed full look at the license plates full of all kinds of beautiful pieces so if you're still watching by now because usually they say the average person who views videos is usually three minutes in so I hope you like what I got going on here. I've been doing I Spy fabric packs for years since I started my Etsy business. So this is just usually a usual working day and what I have to pack, you know, and cut um, and make sure things are stocked. This is really cool. Gone fishing. Loving that one. Bow and arrows, which I, I found it now. I got another piece that goes on there. Here's another black and white one, which I love. This here is a mixture of culinary because you got like the frosting thing. You got the spatula, but you also looks like they put in some quilting as well. We got the measuring tape, safety pens, pens and needles, got the glue gun going on. Candy corn, Halloween's coming guys. So yeah, for those who are starting to get their projects ready for Christmas, a nice spy quilt is an awesome project. What's cool about it is the squares are already pre-cut for you. Four and a half by four and a half and the reason why i did the four and a half is because when you sew on a, on a seam line um you're gonna get exactly a four inch square so i wanted to give you room to for your sewing we got donuts cherries we got luggage so i'm curious i mean i know a lot of people um in the junk journal world don't uh quilts but i'll tell you one thing doing squares and a granny square quilt is so easy so you just sew one quilt on another uh, one square to another square you just keep going 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 like a long strip until you get however wide you want and you do the same thing the opposite we got thread spools we got sports soccer but as you can see you get a lot in a pack 100 pieces that have no duplicates just one cut of each one of these um and mittens gotta have a fox and an owl christmas trees you can see i put holiday in there there's another tiny print of woodland characters we got some owls and squirrels and woodpeckers and snails and things like that oops i skipped one yes i did oopsie daisy hang on here there we go i got a mess going on here <laughs> Another sewing one, as you can kind of see what a square looks like. We got the spool, threads, and needles. I try to get good cuts so you get a lot in it. We got stars. Here's music notes. These are those who like musical things. There's different names for different notes, right? So we got lucky. I know that's not what it is, but I like we got lucky. <laughs> of course, look at I put some Disney in this one, which I rarely do. Mickey Mouse with the American flag, which is nice. Got piano keys, puzzle pieces. I'm not making you guys too dizzy. Oh my my, it's just gonna keep going, guys. <laughs> we got our watermelon. We got, of course, we got Halloween. We got some spider webs, ghosts, and witches. Again, novelty print is so hard to come across because it's one expensive fall leaves, and I like that there's a glimmer to it. Um, but with COVID, a lot of people are buying out the fabrics. So this is from my stash from, you know, time I've had. And, um, like I said, I have bends, palm bends of different prints. So this is just randomly picked retro Christmas. I love that one. Duck. Or is it a goose? We got egg. We got moon and stars over there. There's more moon and stars. And we got ladybugs. Gotta have our balloons. I spy a yellow balloon. What's cool about the blanket, if you ever do make one, if you do make one, is that um, it's great for not only travel, but um, great for bedtime too. Because I know with my little girl, um, I used to we used to make up stories for bedtime instead of reading books. We made our stories, and um, we we would pick certain objects and we would have to tell a story with those items that we picked. So say if I said buttons and I said a girl with a violin and then 
go tell a story. You need to make up your own story, which is also great for teaching a child with imagination and things like that. So we got train, we got cactus. So now you guys know what we got on the cutting table for today. And for those who are not sure or were ever aware what I spy is, now you know. You can use it not only in quilting, but you can use it also in your journaling projects, guys, as well. I've not yet seen anyone do an I spy journal yet. Hmm, hint, hint, maybe give some ideas out there, guys. And we got, of course, yarn. And then my last but not least, which would be the top square, would be, of course, a shimmery bugs. We got snails and worms and bees and all those cool things. So I hope you guys like what I had to show you. Maybe I taught you something new. Maybe something that might inspire you uh, for your projects for, say, Christmas or for a birthday for a child or heck, yourself. I'm curious. Like I said, I've never yet seen someone do a journal for I Spy. I know it's different and who knows? I'm curious on what you guys are going to do. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and uh, until next time, guys. Bye.